Lawmakers go back to Austin in January. Public education is going to be high on the list for debate and for action. High on politics reporter Jack Fink's got an exclusive interview with the Texas Education Agency Commissioner about one very big education issue. Right now, school districts receive funding based on student attendance, but some state lawmakers want to change that to help the school districts financially. TEA Commissioner Mike Morath disagrees. In preparation for the next state legislative session starting in January, some lawmakers want to switch public school funding from a model based on the student's attendance to a model based on student enrollment in the district. Under that scenario, school districts would get more money than now because if a student is absent from school, they would still get paid. Commissioner Mar Mike Morath told me he believes changing state policy would hurt students. So we generally see the, the benefit of an attendance-based funding model being pretty sub significant. We think if you would switch to a, a model that is just, you know, one the kid shows up one day, you get the whole money for the whole year, bad things happen as a result of that. So, um, so no, I would not be in favor of switching away from attendance to enrollment because I think it ultimately is harmful for students. Um, Morath says funding for school districts in Texas is at an all-time high. Some school districts have experienced budget problems. Morath says that's because they received extra money from the federal government during COVID, and that federal funding has now gone away. Some school districts also say they counted on more funding from the state but didn't receive it. We'll talk about that coming up on Eye on Politics this Sunday, and we'll also update you on the speaker's race playing out at the Texas Capitol and how Governor Abbott is trying to control costs at the state's public universities. Get your fix for Texas politics at 7.30 Sunday morning. Stay tuned and stay informed. I'll see you on Sunday. Jack Fink, CBS News, Texas.